Remote monitoring and treatment were an interest even before COVID-19, but the pandemic really underscored how little time we have with our patients and how many of our one-time snapshot clinical measures can miss the fluctuating nature of degenerative diseases such as multiple sclerosis or MS. And seeing patients only in the clinic doesn't really capture the full picture of their daily experiences. Understanding how we monitor and treat people with MS, and then potentially many other neurological conditions. My name's Valerie Block, and I'm a physical therapist by training. My lab's research focuses on using cutting edge, wearable technology to better understand and respond to neurodegeneration. We had a patient in our Fitbit study whose clinical tests, neurological tests were all stable over the year, and yet his activity levels had dropped significantly. And it turned out that this worsening was because of bladder dysfunction, and it led to social withdrawal and reduction of him being able to participate in society. He even missed his daughter's wedding because of embarrassment and fear. So we began using uh, wearables for the bladder, like a D-free device, which is an external wearable ultrasound that monitors bladder fullness to a person's smartphone. These and other wearable devices can passively and discreetly provide continuous, real-time data to patients, researchers, and clinicians. And the goal is to ultimately use these to provide real-world biomarkers of progression and clinically more timely targeted interventions to shift towards this more personalized healthcare. And this is where science and innovation, something we have so much of here in the Bay Area, can really have an impact.